Be encouraged. Jesus is coming soon in the rapture. Hi everyone, this is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women. And welcome to this brief message from God's Word. Listen as I read Philippians 1 verse 6. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. I feel like some of you may really need some encouragement today. Different circumstances are going on in each of our lives, and God's Word always has an encouraging word for us. If you're feeling like you're not making progress in your Christian faith, if you desire to become more like the Lord Jesus Christ, and yet you seem to keep falling into the same kind of sin, or you have this pattern in your life that you can't seem to break out of, there's hope, and our hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. What this verse in Philippians tells us is that for those of us who know Christ as our Savior, who belong to the Lord Jesus, we can be encouraged because he is not going to stop working in us until the day he comes for us in the rapture of the church. God's word tells us he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. That word perfect if you were to look that up in the Greek, what that carries the meaning of is that it's going to be brought to maturity. It's going to be brought into a fuller development. So take heart. God is not going to stop the work he began in you at the moment of your salvation. I just want to share that earlier today at the local church I attend. God drew two people to faith in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I am rejoicing over that. Two more people, as my friend later said, she said, two more people for heaven. And I think about the verses that talk about how when one person comes to Christ, one sinner, then the angels in heaven rejoice. And I'm rejoicing that these two people, a man and a woman, place their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ today. And this good work that God began in them today, he is going to keep doing that work in them until the day of Christ Jesus, which is the rapture. And it's the same for all of us who belong to the Lord Jesus. God is continuing his good work in each of us. So whatever your situation is, whatever struggles you face, whatever heartaches or discouragements, be encouraged today knowing that God is not going to give up on you. He is not going to let go of you. You cannot lose your salvation because our salvation is based on the Lord Jesus Christ, his person and his work on the cross. And God says in his word that no one will pluck those that belong to the Lord. No one will pluck them out of his hand. So be assured of your salvation. If you have believed with all your heart and placed your faith in the Lord Jesus, if you have trusted him to save you from your sins, if you have received him, as your savior he is the lord he is god and he died on the cross for our sins he was buried and he rose again if you believe in him and you receive him and what he has done for you dying for your sins and rising again and praise god you belong to him you are a child of god and not only has God enabled you to know him? He knows you. And on that day when Jesus comes in the rapture, he is going to take every single one of us who have placed our faith in him. He's going to take us to be with him, that where he is, we may be also. I was talking with my husband and a dear friend earlier about what heaven 
is going to be like. And words cannot express how magnificent, how extravagant, how full of splendor it's going to be. And the best part is that the Lord Jesus Christ is going to be there and we will be with him for all eternity. This one who shed his blood for us on the cross, who was buried and rose again, he is alive forevermore. And as this verse in Philippians says, God is going to continue his good work in us until the day of Christ Jesus, until the rapture. I hope this verse has really been a blessing to you today. I pray it is exactly what you need to hear. May God use his word to accomplish the purposes he has for it in your life, in my life. To God be the glory. Thank you so much for spending time with me here in God's word. And I hope that if you are new to my channel, you will click that subscribe button. You can always count on hearing God's word when you come to this channel. Blessings to each of you in Christ. And until next time, this is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women.